Hey Gems, it's your girl Crystal O and today I'm going to be vlogging my impromptu trip to Atlanta, Georgia. You know those kind of I want to get away moments, that's kind of how this trip came about. So I'm going to be visiting Atlanta, Georgia and I have uh, two friends that I will be meeting up with that I've never met before in real life so this is going to be very interesting but just thought I would, you know, live a little, explore a little and just take a very chill trip to Atlanta so join me as we embark on our little trip to Atlanta or as I embark see you soon They like did a complimentary check-in, so I really like didn't don't care for checking my bag in. Like I usually do check bags in, but I feel like I didn't care for um keeping it with me because i felt like you know it's it was smaller and um it just takes longer to get your bag once they check it in like i'm literally sitting here waiting and like there are zero bags out so that's problematic but for the most part i'm thankful for a safe trip i'm thankful for a um, yeah, just safe travels. Uh, Natalie is um, waiting for me outside, so I'm just ready to um, get my bag and head out. Um, we are going to a vegan food truck park, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I have to talk more about my, you know, vegan um, interest these couple of past weeks or so, but I will keep you guys updated with that. But for today and for this week or, you know, whatever, I'm just going to be sharing all things Atlanta. So, um, yeah, it looks like the bags are coming in now, so I will check in with you guys later. All right, so I was able to find Natalie, and after that, we took off to go get some yummy vegan food at the Atlanta Food Truck Park and Market. So stay tuned for some of the bites that we got when we got here. So upon entering, obviously you can see there is just a series of food truck options and different yummy vegan food. We went ahead and got some vegan tacos that were yum. I got some vegan gumbo that was literally amazing. It was just really, really good. As you can see, it just had rice, it had some vegan sausage, and it was just really hearty. We also got some tacos, of course, yum, yum. I was starving, so please don't judge me. I got like everything I could. Lastly, I ended up getting this plate. It had like jollof rice that was vegan and Brussels sprouts and cabbage. I'm not gonna eat it here. I just basically got it for dinner, so don't judge me I know you're judging me but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and head back to the house and as we were heading back to the house y'all look at what I saw look at what I saw tell me why this thing says just divorced like what sis is jubilating over divorce of her spouse or maybe I don't know yeah MC Shirley 15 even went and put her Venmo wow okay All right, so just made it into Natalie's apartment a quick update um, I am currently on take a nap I have oh, excuse me I have a IG live um, in a couple of hours on mental health um, like basically a mental health little you know live on Instagram so follow me on Instagram if you are not doing so already um and then i have to work on some partnership content so i basically just have to edit and then send it off for submission your girl is sleepy i woke up <laughs> really early today for my 10 o'clock flight because i had to drive from waco to dallas which is about two hours to the dfw airport so i woke up around like six five six Something like that, like 5.30. But yeah, Natalie just showed me around the place. Um, very, very cute, you know, townhome um, apartment vibe. So really just glad about 
the bed being super comfy because I'm about to sleep. Okay, I'm about to sleep. <laughs> Um, but anyways y'all just wanted to check in with y'all so I just wanted to check in with y'all and I will be creating somewhat of an itinerary for the next couple of days I literally just came to Atlanta like I ain't got no plan but um, it was so great getting to eat all that vegan food like just knowing that the food is so healthy and it's feeding my body like nutritionally like nutrients dense foods was really nice so Really glad I got to eat all of that vegan food. Uh, Natalie uh, is currently watching TV downstairs. Um, so she is basically where like she stays. So um, I will go hang out with her later um, when I wake up. So let's get this nap started. <laughs> okay, so I'm about to get ready for the Mental Health Minute IG Live. So I'm just kind of doing a little, you know, a little sum sum just to kind of get myself together. Um, I have about 10 minutes. I need to hurry up. Okay, let me finish this up. Y'all, I'll be, I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> okay, this is what my five minute beat looks like. Got my eyebrows on and got a little bit of concealer, got some blush going and we are good to go. Okay, I literally have to pop on here in five minutes. So I am trying to rush. Okay, put my hair, <laughs> put this on, set my camera up. Make sure my connection's good. And we are live in three minutes. Okay, let me position this the way that I want it. Perfect, there we go. And <clears throat> voice check, me, 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 me. I am not singing, I don't know why I'm doing a voice check, but let me pull up my Instagram. Let me pull up my notepad. So do you have a notepad? There are questions on mental health and I just want to make sure that, you know, my questions are well thought out and not just all answered on spot. Even though like I'm pretty good at like on spot answering of questions, I do want to make sure that, you know, I also have some, some more information to provide than just on spot answering. Whew. All right, we are live in two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and again, pull up my notes um, and just, yeah, do that. So basically the live is about 15 minutes long. It's not like, you know, a very long live. It's up to our discretion on how long we actually want it to be. So that's, that's good. Um, I, I don't know, I don't feel nervous. I just feel like I don't know like I don't know the word for it like I'm usually pretty good at being self-aware I guess I'm just excited like it's it's the excited nervous it's not like oh I'm nervous I'm scared I want to back out it's like oh my gosh like this is happening and I feel like as a mental health professional like I feel like I'm coming more and more into my niche um so that's been really really good All right, guys, we're on in one, so I need to shut up and close my mouth. Hello. Mental health awareness month. So we have these two beautiful, lovely Nubian queens, <laughs> these two Nigerian sisters that are both involved in mental health. I am only above, what would you say, above my three. Yes. So we have Crystal to my side, and they are both involved in mental health. One as Crystal is a therapist, only is a assistance but she's like in a in the mental health realm so ladies basically this evening well everyone this evening is going to be about us just asking questions i know mental health is a um it's kind of like in our community it's not talked about much yeah mm -hmm. it's not at all absolutely um, so this is just going to be an evening where a brief evening where we can discuss it if you all have questions please feel free to ask the ladies yes and Take it all in. Yes, yes. Okay, guys. So, um, medication is almost like you know, something that you can take while that wound heals. So, trauma is a wound to the brain, right? Mental yes, health, yes. you know, Any what, the body, yeah. right? It's a 
literal wound to the brain now I love what you said about you know yes the medication will help alleviate some symptoms but you have to do the deeper work so the medication helps alleviate those symptoms for you to be able to do the deeper work right if you are struggling with depression you literally cannot get up you literally have no motivation you literally you know there are different symptoms right this you may not fall into this category but if you're struggling with chronic anxiety you're gonna struggle to even be able to do the work to to heal from what's even causing that or to even learn how to cope with it right yeah. so medication gives you that window to have a period of time to relearn to unlearn to heal to grow and then when you get there you really don't need the medication all right so i just finished the ig live i am going to put a link in the description bar um if you desire to watch it back um you can do that um, yeah, I think it went really, really well. After the conversation, um, Oni and I got on a call and just kind of debriefed and chatted and it was really good. So, um, yeah, that was basically the behind the scenes of it. And I hope, um, that if you do rewatch it, that it would be a blessing to you. Um, I'm about to eat some of the dinner that I got to go from the vegan, um, food truck park. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to eat that and then I'll watch some nuts Netflix while I eat and then I'm going to wrap it up and go to bed um, Natalie is currently baking um, she makes vegan cookies y'all they are amazing um, so if you are wanting to order some vegan cookies she actually does ship them she has a whole business you know um, I will also put that in my description bar below if you want to um, eat some vegan cookies or order some vegan cookies I'm excited because she's bringing home some sugar cookies for me so I'm really glad that I get to finally try them I've heard such good things about them I've had the chocolate chip ones and they are chef's kiss so really excited because i have a sweet tooth and if you do too get you some vegan cookies um but nonetheless um that is day one basically i'm building my itinerary for day two so stay tuned for that um, but anyways uh i will chat with you guys later and good night Good morning, gems. Today I'm going to be trying out a style that's a little out of my comfort zone, but a style that I think is a really, really cute. So I'm deciding between this neon pink bag or this white one, so we'll see. Well, on to skincare, I'm going to be using the Fenty Skin Cleanser. Um, Y'all, I really do love this cleanser. I love the way it foams up as I wash my face and it just really gets a lot of dirt and makeup off of my skin so i really enjoy it i'm gonna be using my curology moisturizer i'm gonna be using my super group sunscreen unseen sunscreen y'all sunscreen so important i'm gonna be putting in my contacts so for breakfast we had a strawberry banana smoothie with avocado toast and then this is what the complete outfit looks like. I actually think it's really, really cute. I really like it. It's like chic tomboy or girly tomboy. And we are out. So we're going to be heading to, I believe, downtown Atlanta, Georgia. We are going to be visiting Ponce Market and just kind of strolling down to see what kind of street art we find, as well as shopping some things from Ponce Market as well. After we picked up a scooter, your girl literally had her hat fly away in an attempt to stop my bike. Look at what happened. Literally got scarred up. Uh, but it's okay. After that, we took some pictures next to some really cute street art. Check out the pictures on my Insta. They were super cute. So we eventually got to Ponce Market and we went ahead and walked our wheels in and parked them. After that, we just kind of, you know, took a stroll into Ponce Market. This is apparently just a really big shopping mall with eateries. So we went ahead and checked out this store called The Village at PCM, and this is basically a black owned business with different vendors inside of it so basically there were different um, makers different businesses different just items and it just really screamed black excellence i loved it support is a verb indeed i loved that slogan uh, ways you can support your girl is by subscribing liking this video commenting and all that jazz they had a bunch of really cute pieces i actually tried on two kimonos that i saw so y'all know i had to look at the price tag because that can make an outfit real ugly real quick okay but this this worked this was fine
I bought two items. I bought one kimono and I bought one really cute apron. Maybe one day I'll show it on my, you know, Instagram. Obviously I will, but um, yeah, it was just really nice to see all the different pieces. But nonetheless, support black businesses. Um, I loved it. I was all for just the creativity. They had stuff for natural hair. They had stuff for literally anything you would want in life. This is the apron that I bought. How cute is this apron? Like I could not let it go without just purchasing it. So I did, I purchased it. Um, so yeah, just gonna keep looking around and just, you know, taking a look at all these amazing products that are uh, black owned and yeah. So like I said, I did go ahead and try a couple of items on. This is one of the kimonos that I actually did go ahead and purchase. I just thought it was so unique with the stripes. I also went ahead and picked up that kimono over there and this apron. I'm not going to try that on, but I definitely bought it. And this is what the other kimono looks like. So this one's a little bit bigger than I am and probably just wouldn't work. So I didn't go with it. Thank you so much. So after shopping, I went ahead and grabbed some ramen, some vegetarian ramen, and it was yum, y'all. I really needed something warm, something sav well, savory in my belly. So this was so good. I'm such a ramen fan, so it was great. After this, we went ahead and continued our day with continuing to walk down the Ponce Market, I guess like the strip. There's just so much um, murals and just art. And it was just really, really nice just seeing all of the black empowerment, all of the uh, black validation and just, I don't know, it just felt really nice to I feel like be seen, you know, I feel like be seen. So um, this was cute. She can be hero. And uh, I believe this one says we shall overcome. So just really encouraging messages. So this was, this was nice. After the day, we went ahead and stopped at Arden Smoothies, I believe. And we grabbed um, some yummy smoothies. I love, 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 love ginger, so I got ginger in my smoothie per usual. I went with the Bexorcist. This one has uh, ginger in it, so it was pretty yum. They also had a bunch of other healthy options like a kale salad and a taco salad and different snacks that can be purchased. I believe we got some kind of grass. I can't remember what it was called, but I enjoyed the smoothie personally. Um, I thought it was really good and refreshing. Good morning, y'all. So I'm about to head to go have breakfast, brunch with my friend Alyssa. Um, she was on the Sephora squad with me in the 2020 one set and she's also um made it to the semi-finalist for the 2021 you know onward set so uh really excited to meet up with her and just catch up another internet friend that i've never met but she's like literally the most supportive person ever so kind so sweet so make sure to check her out on insta Alyssa marie i will leave her handle here um but yeah i'm gonna head off um get into the lift and we are in for a pretty full day i actually am going home today because i got really homesick and i really miss my husband and i really miss my dogs so i bumped my uh, departure date um to today instead of tomorrow and today's my last day so i'm going to get as much in as possible before i leave and i'll be taking you guys along this day with me so let's go ahead and get started do y'all see this kind of minimal look i did like 
very just like minimal like you know messy eyebrows some blush a little bit of foundation concealer lipstick um just trying it out and seeing what it looks like so hopefully it doesn't look too crazy uh but i will show you guys my outfit in a little bit but let me go ahead and get ready for this lift driver that's coming and i will chat with you guys later all right we are in route to breakfast slash brunch y'all ever walk out the house and realize that your legs are ashy like that's the story of my whole life like why why anyways here's my baggy bag and here's this annoying scar on my leg that won't fade but whatever she's still cute she's still cute so walk over to the cafe where we're having brunch y'all tell me why the lift driver dropped me across the street from the location like sir i am not tipping you like mm -mm, rude <laughs> he was like i think we're here and i'm like that's i don't think that's i don't think that's it <sighs> but it's fine i'm about to cross the street and um then i'll meet my friend so heading there now for some reason my network completely like went out so trying to work on that and okay yeah she just got my text so i'm heading there now just waiting for this sign to say walk and i'm good to go girl this is Alyssa that I was talking about y'all follow your girl she's amazing literally amazing you're amazing we're both amazing <laughs> So we ended up having some really amazing brunch and Alyssa's mother joined us for brunch as well because she is visiting and the conversation was just wonderful, just great company. So after this, we went to Michael's and Alyssa's mother gave some words of wisdom. The other thing that we normally don't do, mm -hmm. when, we, when we find someone coming to us and you know, they have some problem and, you know we're so willing all you know right away to to give that person compassion mm -hmm. and to understand yes. them but we never give it to ourselves yes. that's true so that's true you have to take time like if you've made a mistake wow. if you if whatever happens to you and you shouldn't feel alone you mm -hmm. should actually look at yourself even if you have to look at yourself in the mirror and say you know what i forgive you yeah i forgive me yeah and give yourself that compassion mm -hmm. that you give to others other people i actually that really was actually need to practice it yeah that was one of my affirmations that's just from mom Melissa's mom and my mom <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like, yes. Yeah. 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 yes after michael's we headed back and i went ahead and got ready for my trip like I said, I got really homesick, y'all. I don't know if y'all have ever been homesick. This is my first time in almost three years traveling without my husband, I believe. So I just really, really missed him. And I really missed my dogs. And I just wanted to go home to see them. So I booked my trip a day early and thought it would be a good idea to just head back home. I also had a ton of work that needed to be done. So I just thought that my trip had come to a good, you know, brief end. And also, I visited Atlanta on a weekday. Well, yeah, during the weekday. So there wasn't a lot to do. I would 10 out of 10 recommend this app, y'all. It made my life so much easier. This is the American Airlines app. All right. Grabbed some pizza to fill this belly. And we are off. All right, we have landed in Dallas, Texas. I am currently on the way back home. Um, I 
I'm just glad to be home and I had a great time in Atlanta. Uh, shout out to Natalie, my friend, for hosting me. Uh, she decided not to be in the vlog and I wanted to honor her privacy by allowing that. She did mention that I was taller in person that I looked on social media. Uh, that was just a fun fact that she had mentioned that I thought was worth sharing. Um, well, anyways, I am headed back home to my husband and my two dogs. <laughs> I miss them so much. And um, yeah, I just wanted to hop back in here before I sign out for good. Um, this is one of many vlogs to come. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure to subscribe if you are new here. Like this video, comment below if you enjoyed this video. Comment below if you've ever been to Atlanta before or if you've ever wanted to go. I would love to hear about that. Um, bye y'all, until next time. Although brief, my trip was very, very relaxing and just nice. Uh, I feel like sometimes on trips, you don't have to do the most. You can just truly enjoy the place you're in and yeah, just take it all in. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and subscribe if you are not subscribed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.